the best with your project channel views on today's news we're going to talk about C++ and we're just going to get into it uh, break down uh, how you can uh, wrap your mind around all the complex uh, all the list of computers and the network because there seems to be that much uh, hype about it in the world uh, and it does require a certain kind of thinking or a certain kind of mindset my state like there's like a mentality or a way of thinking that uh, things need to be designed like based on these like principles of design well, we can zoom out a bit in our thinking, we can kind of have a look at things at an overview. We can get a good uh, overview and have a look at how it all works. Uh, and, uh, how it works together. Obviously, if we actually uh, start at the uh, end, end, end at the start. And, uh, so idea the the idea is basically everything seems to be computers these days and in the computer world uh, perhaps you heard of C plus plus and might have practiced a bit of coding yourself that's like seen as the ultimate level uh, to be honest it's not that much good if you can't actually get anything done you can't turn projects around and uh, move in and quickly solve issues uh, as and when they occur. Uh, it's a hell of a, it's a, there's a hell of a lot to it, there's the amount of complexity involved in it, even though the software parts, when you break them down, you, we can make each individual part as simple as possible, it's uh, the combination of millions of these component parts that go into making making it in the round, uh, yeah, computers themselves, uh, obviously we know electricity, so we have the invention of electricity and uh, we also have the invention of the telephone as well in the uh, analog electronics so obviously we come from a music background so we're familiar with analog uh, and then obviously digital electronics so behind behind the scenes if you look at all the component parts that are going to make it your mobile phones your desktop pcs your gaming pcs etc 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 one of the most powerful component parts of it is actually software itself so if you can imagine uh, that's like tech yeah there's a tech monopoly in, 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 in as a brain trust and like you say actually how people are still everyday people really are all around the world still coming to terms with the internet and what it is uh, do those technicians uh, obviously that the, it's the combination of millions if not billions of engineer hours in developer time like there's a whole sort of uh, concept behind it all like like the idea of continuous delivery and continuous integration so you kind of got to look at things in, in those terms to get any uh, It's an integral part of the economy. It's an integral part of every little thing. Now, uh, obviously, we all have a mobile phone, a laptop, desktop, gaming PC. Some of us have servers. We all have a broadband router at home, uh, TV set-top boxes, and video games consoles as well. We probably do, you know, 99.99 recurring percent of our life online. And obviously, that has led to a lot of concerns as regards well hacking. Uh, the law, data protection regulations, uh, permissions based access, security and encryption, uh, communication. So it really is a, it's a, well, it's a brand new world. Uh, obviously, you can dial it's, it has social impacts as well. It's impacting the legal system, it's imp impacting society and people's behaviour. 
And you know, as we've seen now, obviously in the present political situation, how it massively impacts every little thing, uh, really. Obviously, what has occurred with information communication technology is the costs, the distribution and stuff like that has, has drastically changed every little thing, really. When uh, it goes back to being digital, if you remember uh, Douglas Ruskoff, the hacker crackdown, as well as some literate, some literate literature uh, for the nineties, also and the whole obviously virtual reality, the metaverse, and obviously artificial intelligence and machine learning as well. And we've seen the release of products. Uh, obviously, we've got the new Intel chip. We have you know the increasing standards from PCI four and DDR four to PCI five and DDR five. If your DDR goes back to the 90s, right? And obviously there's various technical specialisms on the server side. We're hosting cloud virtual machines. And there's also a historic legacy about how uh, the internet works with TCP IP and hypertext. Uh, obviously there's Apache, you know, we have all the different types of operating systems. So, and we have all the different softwares. And in particular, we have the digital production skill set. That's something we've always concentrated on at the Basic Materials Project. And obviously, the software tools that make that work as well. Like obviously, today we're uh, spending more and more time learning Adobe Creative Cloud. Again, so you've got a whole suite of software tools there. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, Adobe AI, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and. Uh, the After Effects for camera work, stuff like that, and it all integrates, there's an integration, and you have obviously the, the web experience tools, the Adobe XD, well, as Adobe Dreamweaver, we for creating websites and what have you, it's got a heck of a lot of software capability, so managing all this complexity, we're going to need the server operating systems like Linux uh, server, Ubuntu server, Ubuntu desktop, or Linux Fedora server, and then Linux Fedora desktop, or a Red Hat. There's a bunch of stuff in there as well inside of the operating systems. We've got intellectual property, where you really can call it a Unix or a Linux. Uh, and obviously have Microsoft, and uh, obviously Apple as well, a massive tech company as well. So it really bridges all sorts of sciences, all arts, as it were. Uh, and we have just, you know, a purely creative world. And obviously the massive world of media, uh, television, radio, uh, uh, internet live streaming, uh, uh, video game live streaming, and obviously social media and stuff like that. So there's, uh, so yeah, we're entitled into this uh, talk of uh, channel news and we concentrate on C++. So C++, ah. Uh, is kind of like the generic standard of every little thing, but really, uh, you really need to blow the lid off every single piece and every single component part of the, of the puzzle, uh, the wider wide infrastructure. But also realise there's really, really simple mathematical structures or mathematical models that that are behind everything. And there, obviously there's loads of things. There's, there's every little thing inside of it, uh, really. Obviously, there is a bit of an elitism about C++, uh, what have you, has a massive amount of mythology and, and the rest of it. Uh, obviously, it has its own particular you know, history and culture. Again, the massiveness of, uh, of, 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 of all, and all these varieties of, you know, it's, it's a creative field uh, and there's all kinds of sort of like perspectives. On it, it really depends on who you are as an individual. Like if you're like a pure mathematician, then it computers obviously that are you know a geometric device that does mathematics. And obviously if you're into 3D graphics, there's a software side and the hardware side that you know it comes about modeling 3D geometry and animation. Uh, if you're an artist then you're gonna look want to look at something like Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, and obviously your computer, your personal computer, plugs into 3D printers, normal printers, printing presses, uh, and there's all sorts of CAD CAM, uh, AutoCAD, CAD CAM, uh, CNC, computer numerical control. Uh, and obviously now we've seen the computer go to the smartwatch and uh, obviously we have the smartphone, but now we're going to the smart home. We also now have all this uh, 
internet of things devices that are connected to the internet and of course you've got to bridge the gap between all these component parts for example cameras microphones radio little wi-fi and bluetooth dongles for example touchscreen uh, battery uh, and uh, obviously you have 3d scanning capability and although it was modern mobile phones you're using it for real-time 3d scans as, as, as it helps build virtual reality models so you can really uh, typify C++ as the interconnecting point, as a central point on the map where car engines, 3D printers, sensors, uh, uh, where it comes to self-driving cars, GPS and LiDAR, etc. all coincide. Uh, it's a space where hard disks and RAM and central process units come combined in a, into a workable whole, right? So. Some of those things, obviously, what it really is, is a logical language to be able to conceal all of this incredible complexity in, in some sort of human usable format, but also still achieving technical and engineering principles as well. So it's, it basically, it's a very, very, at the pinnacle of the game, it, it's, it's extremely complex at the pinnacle level. So a lot of people... completely totally non-productive when it comes to this sort of thing you're probably much better off using a 3d modeling tool like blender you're probably much better off using adobe creative cloud uh, to get things done a lot of people there's a lot of time spend a lot of time learning there's a difficult learning you know there's obstacles to learn and stuff like that we don't really see the develop the development itself during the process so you can get really really you can get lost in the weeds you can get out there on a tangent and not really come on for anything uh well, apart from just doing it for the uh, knowledge base like learning you know, you've got to look at it uh, this way you're probably better off using vst plugins uh, in ableton for example rather than programming your own i uh, a lot there's a lot there's many like many individual projects out there so you can look on the web like where, where the github source forge there's many open source projects out there we can all get the alliance kernel source code and have a look uh, all the providers give away intel uh, arm amd arm are pretty close when it comes to intel's proxy obviously google android sdk so you can almost say that there's many, 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 many layers to the structure in that C++ or whatever is something somewhere on top. is the code, like it's like the code interface to it all. Uh, and it's usable, it's useful and, and it can be applied in creating tools on the one hand. So we can actually create the application itself, virtual worlds, and a variety of user experiences and a variety of specific individual tools and tool sets. That obviously enhance productivity and get a lot of work done and so the code itself is only one way really of interacting with it all and we have to be careful not to get too sort of like lost in the thickets of it all uh, often times when people come to C++ they shouldn't really right so it's, it's probably not really best for anyone if you be told in the abstract although it has its own hype and it has it all, its own little uh, you know following you'll find that they all do but you can you know sometimes you can achieve way more way more using uh, adobe dreamweaver using java html javascript css whatever as uh, where the creative and productive side can really get going so it's a certain mental process to be able to do the code itself and interpret it it's another thing to be able to have that human touch where you can create great software products, software tool chains, where it's the Visual Studio Code, the Android developer, etc. And you can see all tech companies are kind of competing uh, for the customer's attention, really. And, and, and there's a bit of a platform wars going on. There's slight conflicts here, little mismatches here and there. And you know, for, for, for most, most people don't really want to go into the fundamental mathematics uh, of it all. Uh, and you can get by, actually, this whole... You know, a whole new way of thinking with this artificial intelligence and machine learning as well. So, there's lots of other languages, Haskell, uh, there's a variety, uh, and 
it's one of those things which you never want you spend your time on you kind of get your expertise in that area and uh, c plus plus can be very very draining if you spend decades on it you spend like, like uh, i've been f familiar with it for 25 years as a whole this century so you can't you know you can't really you know it's it goes into you know you can it can leave the everyday practical quickly and go into all sorts of theories and you have to be aware that this does influence a bunch of stuff like also where you get your ideas and your concepts from from what's all this about and perhaps if you're new to C++ you might not know that like, component parts took maybe 10 years to find its way into it for whatever particular reason you're really better off just leaving that there for now and actually going back to so it's one of the principles of the base material project. We start at the end, you know, we, you know, we end at the beginning, and we, you know, we finish at the start. Or where you actually, really, what you really want to be asking yourself if you're serious, forget about learning C plus plus and what have you. You know, do you have a living, breathing software product that has a user base, uh, is relevant, is present, and is contemporary, and, and and is it something that people would pay money for? And that's really the goal. Like you may have the mentality that you can become the world's best C++ pro or the skill set may help you find a job. So that well, that's kind of the wrong sort of space to be approaching it, approaching it from. I believe that you want to you want to be approaching it from that you have a living, breathing product that's on like Google App Store, Microsoft Store, you know, Apple Store is available uh, as a Ubuntu package on the Ubuntu Snap Store. And, that's really that other skill set, like is is really where it's at. Because for ninety nine point nine nine percent recurring people out there, uh, that's really what the issue is in uh, all of the stuff about C plus plus and particularly about Active Diary and the main name system as well. You don't really get to see it. It's same with uh, Microsoft Windows Active Diary, the Azure, and you know with the cloud. You don't really get ever to see it in the real world how it really works. Like by coming at it, so you're coming at this part from the position that you're going to personally develop yourself. Uh, that's all good and well, and you can spend you know like any given Sunday, you might spend a few hours working on a project. You could be an indie, indie game developer, etc., etc. We really need to understand that for the most part, economically in the industry. There's already a paid for product out there with a user base that's familiar, it's contemporary, that people are paying for, for the most part. Uh, because all of the stuff you learn about, you know, you know bug fixing, uh, version management, uh, updating, uh, metrics, there's a massive part of it. Obviously the security and stuff like that, like, you, you might not get, get to see unless you have a software on a domain. Well, virtual but it's a private network access work so you may not actually get to see it so you may not get to see the real truth behind the say say microsoft server until you've run several different locations on the back of it with perhaps several several hundred computers in each sort of different geographical location it's same with the network with one and vpning through it so if you look at the room protocols and stuff Issues like that, times like that, timing becomes key. And obviously, there's also the remote management sort of side of things. There's also people get, uh, you know, they get used to a job and then they create a unique tool to help them do that job in particular. And if you see, you can see in particularly in Windows Server versions, for every version of Windows Server release for laid back, the first time I can't do was Windows Server 2003. Your individual practitioner gets can do more and more, so it's enhancing the workload of any individual practitioner of Windows Server for commercial reasons, for the business side of things. All right, so you got to be careful. Yeah, you're gonna always be an an eternally eternally a C plus plus student, right? Or whatever, and you know, there's always new stuff to find out and the rest of it. Then again, there's also basic practical experience as well. The knowledge side of it, the academic side of it, and in particular the math mice, uh, there's a lot of really interesting math behind it that amplifies throughout the whole thing. Like, math mice can be, there can be interesting symmetries between the different areas of maths and, and the sort of like the, the models. 
there is a model coming through anyway uh, so how far do you want to take your self-development as academics so you go for a, 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 a qualification a master's degree a phd in mathematics or you know there's all sorts of interesting stuff but also there's also sort of aspects of commercial reality as well obviously not not everything is good for, you know for example you know if you're a bank you don't want the entire world to access to your server but if you're a crypto or blockchain then yeah you do like so just all sorts of things about or oh, i'm going to support linux customers for games but hardly anybody on linux buys games so it's kind of not worth it economically or like you're going to get 99 percent of your problems are going to come from less than one percent of your customer base examples there's all sorts of little issues behind uh well you've got to like uh, things like that obviously you could you know what we're going to program our programming in c plus plus and then we're stuck to it and then you may be struggling to find competent developers that have the ability to hit the project running they may know c plus plus but they might not know everything else all right it's something that we recommended if you go back to c plus plus asap the simple as simple as possible what program we're working on at the minute on the channel if it's better to you know have a complete product and even if it's a hello world bundle in particular on linux it's good on ubuntu for example you can create your own little snap on the store but once it's there then you can push the next version uh, and the next version could be more complex command line the next version after that could be even more complex a window the next version could be more complex and could be a many threaded application the next version after that can be much more complex and have multiple installation components like for example if you're on adobe creative cloud there's literally more than 100 individual parts that pop up uh, all sorts from license checking to backing up to the cloud it's got uh, so the software complexity comes from you can have a simple file you double click it then you have a file that has many threads and then you can have many client server type architectures and then you can puff up your deployment in terms of your application you can have a variety of subspaces taking care of each individual area of demand and a background metric system as well for, for underlying metrics as a business it's important to see statistics and data so you get it's, it's important for that to be as accurate as possible in business that's probably the most important thing about you know, data science is accuracy all right because with computer cycles you know it's uh, you know, without going into tunes, you know, you can amplify mistakes quickly. And like we've always said, faults in the kernel can amplify to faults in the app. And then apps can amplify into faults in the user space. They can amp amplify faults out. There could be errors in the underlying chip or operating system as well. That perhaps. So it's not necessarily always your C++. Sometimes it's the build. Sometimes it's the runtime. Sometimes it's the chip. You know, there's lots of oddities occurring. Alright, so you know your C plus plus is an umbrella term. It uh you know, and it is it is the moment of intersection between all these component parts, whether it's power supply electronics, all the way through to RAM. And the great thing about it is it's it's almost holographic in that we can uh you know, we have our desktop PC whatever the graphics card, a new Intel twelfth gen thirty two year RAM. But we can also use this computational capability in a specialist way and we could be making products with it ourselves or we could be designing car engines etc 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 so it kind of phase shifts or it kind of like time warps into the next sort of like project workflow is different data or whatever is handed over to different applications and different development processes the operating system context which is what in itself it behaves like that now, obviously there's a very real manifestation of the computer and that's physical it requires electricity it requires a network cable graphics card ram keyboard and mouse or game controller uh, graphics tablet you can plug cameras into it sensors uh, robotics we're looking at raspberry pis with these ro robotic arduinos and what have you with a little bit of ai on board and obviously drones and quadcopters as well can't do what they do without the computational place of so it's dare i say it's, is it the pinnacle of human engineering c++ is it is c++ more complicated than space 
and space age technology like rockets and satellites you certainly wouldn't be able to do this uh, without a computer a lot of things like this you know a lot of things work obviously because they have the onboard computer the onboard electronics obviously old timers don't believe in anything computer <laughs> if it was the wrong turn they want to set everything back to the steam engine but oh, basically said like ah uh, it's an entangled mess and it's very sticky and very complicated however all the threads of it do have there's meant to be some sort of unless logical logical inconsistencies amplify through the system as a fault which is what we actually take to be an error or an error state boolean logic uh, for example how we can put all sorts of logical tests in there uh, but yeah so c plus plus is the intersection of all this complexity whether it's the laws of physics making microchips or sensors or lasers or fiber optic cables uh, all the way through to you know mechanical engineering how much strength uh, your pc case needs or the other uh, motherboard for example has got so much shear resistance or young's modules for elastic you can have some bit of flexibility or heat resistance where you can tolerate heat obviously you've got your cpu for example and specialism in each particular area of each individual electronic circuit obviously understanding the master sort of interconnect as well there's also that logical ab abstraction as well so if we can get a bunch of like mathematical concepts down we can then use these uh, so to kind of be able to smudge together all these complicated parts and, and, and ease your imagination when thinking about this sort of thing obviously we like to think in terms of practical results uh, and also your, your developer as well it's good to work on oh you could ah, ah i suppose it's up to the individual really but c plus plus in a nutshell take my advice don't waste your time on it right just use blender or adobe or use ableton or buy some plugins or what have you yeah there's incredible learning to be had making it yourself especially if we combine software like ableton max for life as well uh, with things like arduino you can make your own little, uh, little dj sort of little cool dj sort of stuff uh, and obviously connecting to robotics and industrial manufacturing as well so they're all like levels like, and yeah sure if we can break down the c++ components into some mathematical ideas that are universally applicable like you can we can universally apply them to any system any computer any operating system even any programming language and help us work through our problems quickly and get to a successful resolution uh, so yeah that's 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 today's channel news what i think about c++ uh, what else have we got going oh yeah like and subscribe check out the website and uh we've got uh we've got a few things to be covered yet in the future we'll get back to it all right yeah all right yeah thank you once again thank you very much uh like and subscribe and catch you next time